what's up? This is Luke with harmonica.com. What is the secret to getting that legit bluesy sound on the harmonica? You guessed it, bending. If you can learn how to nail bends, you're gonna be able to inject soul and feel into any song that simply isn't possible with single notes alone. Welcome to my step-by-step -step guide to getting your first bend. What is bending and why learn how to do it? It's a technique by which we can lower the notes of the harmonica. And so it's actually the opposite of a guitar where you can bend up in the pitch. Harmonica, we're actually bending down. Now, why would you want to learn? Well, there's expressiveness that comes from bending that you can't achieve otherwise. There's a wailing, crying sound. Number two, there are certain notes that don't exist on the harmonica without bending. And an example is in my Scales for Beginners lesson, I taught how to play the major scale in the middle octave which doesn't require any bending, but if you want to play the same scale in the lower octave, I'm gonna need a bend here. That's a bend. Here's another bend. So there's certain notes that you can't get without bending. How is bending accomplished? There are two interrelated techniques to bending on the harmonica. The first is just activating the bend, and learning how to activate a bend is something that generally takes people days or weeks or as much as six months before they're able to achieve their first bend. And then the second part of it is tuning the bend. And tuning the bend is something that literally takes a lifetime to master. And so I'm gonna talk about those two interrelated techniques. And then after that, we're gonna get into a whole bunch of different exercises to help you get your first bend. And then we're gonna put it into a few awesome songs. Long train running. Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Take Me Home, Country Road. So, let's just talk about it first. Activating the bend is accomplished by putting the tongue into what I call the k zone. So if you say k, 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 k over and over again and you pay attention to the back of your tongue is going up against the roof of your mouth, the hard palate. Ah, uh, which you can touch without gagging yourself. K, k, you feel it hitting that hard part on the roof of your mouth. K, k. Now keep it there. K, k. And try inhaling or try exhaling. K, k. And you can feel you're, you're creating a little passageway between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. There's like a little channel of air going through there. Now you can also move that k zone forward and back. And here's an example of how it moves forward and back. This is the back of the mouth here, and this is the front of the mouth here. We can lift the back of the tongue towards the roof of the mouth here, and this can move forward like this, towards the front of the mouth, or it can move like this towards the back of the mouth. Notice the tip of the tongue is not moving, it's just that we can, the wave can sort of go through the tongue like a wave. The k zone is movable. Getting into the k zone is really one of the keys to activating your first bend. Also, it can be aided by raising the soft palate. The soft palate is the part, if I were to touch it, I would have to gag myself. It's behind the hard palate on the roof of the mouth, and it raises when we yawn. Oh, so if you yawn, you can feel the back of the throat opens and that soft palate comes up. That can actually help to activate in your bend too. Now the second interrelated technique that I mentioned, which is tuning the, if this is your first time bending today, we're, this is not something we're worried about right now, but this is the other part of it. We literally tune the chamber of our mouth to a note just slightly below the note we're trying to achieve with the bend. That's what's happening. We need to make our mouth cavity bigger to drop the pitch to lower sounds. So there's two ways that we can achieve the changing of the size of our mouth chamber. One is by the cuz zone itself. As we draw it back, it makes our mouth cavity bigger. And then the other one is with the soft palate in the back of the throat lifting and opening up. That also makes it bigger so that we can drop the pitch lower. Now, a couple prerequisites before we get into all these exercises to get our first bend. If you are watching this video and you haven't yet really learned deep relaxed mouth position and how to isolate notes using the lip blocking technique, then I'm gonna encourage you to check out those videos first. Once you have the deep relaxed mouth position and you're able to play nice clear single notes, then congratulations, you're ready for your rite of passage into learning bending. 
But please be ready to be patient with yourself. This is going to be a process that is probably going to be frustrating. If you start using too much force, and if you start getting frustrated and frustration leads to using excessive force, you're going to be fighting yourself and hindering your chances of getting a bend. So keys here, relaxation, patience, play with it, take lots of breaks, put the harmonica down, walk away from it, come back to it. You know, a few minutes here and there is going to be a lot better than trying to lock yourself in a room until you get the technique. All right, you ready to get into it? I'm going to take you through several different ideas that are going to help you to get your first bend. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. Remember, just play with this. This is something we're just going to play with and eventually it's gonna to come together. We're gonna to start with the K zone. And if I breathe in, and we're gonna start with the draw bend. The four draw is where most people find it the easiest to get their first bend. Maybe try the draw one every once in a while. But we're gonna focus mostly on the draw four. If you think of a airplane diving, go ahead and make that sound. Now make that sound, but breathe in while you're doing it. That's exactly the kind of motion. And maybe you can feel the cuz zone is kind of moving back in your mouth as you're going from sort of an E to an A. Ah, right? So let's try it on the harmonica now. Let's find our whole four. There is our whole four. So. Very important to move slowly. You don't just want to go. You slow it down as much as possible. And on this next one, let's bend it and then release it like. Again. All right, cool. Let's try it on the one draw. Don't worry if you haven't gotten it yet. This next technique that I'm going to show you right now is the technique that helped me get my first bend, and it's helped countless people get their first bend. And it's called the tilt bend. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our draw four again. We're gonna keep doing that same airplane dive in inside of our mouth as we draw on the four, but we're also gonna tilt the harmonica back like this, so we're rotating up towards the ceiling. Let's try that again. Okay, that can be really helpful. And I literally, for some number of weeks, could only get bends by tilting the harmonica back, and that's fine, don't worry. Eventually, your mouth is gonna learn what it needs to do to be able to bend without tilting the harmonica, but if you have to tilt the harmonica back in order to get your bends, hey, that's cool. Just rejoice in the fact that you're bending it all. All right, let's try the tilt bend on the one draw now. So again, as I've mentioned, the one draw is gonna require a, a further back motion. You're really gonna have to pull the back of your tongue, like really to like where you're like almost gagging yourself with the back of your tongue, like you're swallowing the back of your tongue. One draw again. And let's try the four draw again. Okay, now chances are most people, you're still not getting it, but keep playing with this and keep trying the tilt bend. And even as we go through some different ideas and techniques to help you get your first bend, keep coming back to all these different ones and just trying them and, and keep playing with it, okay? This next one, I want you just to forget about the cuz zone altogether. Just forget about it. Now we're just gonna think about, we're gonna start in the E vowel shape, E, which is kind of thin and wide like this, E. And then we're gonna go to ah, and we're gonna drop our jaw, ah, 
and we're gonna lift our soft palate like we're yawning. Ah, oh, so e ah e ah. Now we'll do it while we inhale. Now let's try it on the four draw. E ah e ah. And maybe try tilt it too. Let's try it on the one draw. Still haven't gotten your bend? All right, let's try a totally different technique. Forget everything else, all right? We're gonna try a new one. This is ka yu, okay? We're gonna start in a ka vowel shape, and then we're gonna go to a yi. And, and if you go yi, 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 you can feel how that's similar to k, k, k. It's putting your tongue into a similar place. But a lot of people, ka yu or wa yu, yi. And let's do it while we breathe in. Let's try it on harmonica on the four draw. Let's try it with the tilt. Let's try it on the one draw. Okay, now if you still haven't gotten it after trying all these different things, relax, that's normal. Again, remember, relax, take lots of breaks. If you don't know whether pitch is dropping or not, check out the Bend It Better tool. The other thing the Bend It Better tool can be helpful, and this is a tip I wanna give you because I've, I've seen this happen with several beginners is, they, Luke, I can't bend a note. I can't get the pitch to drop. Interesting because if I slowed down that motion, the pitch actually is dropping. And the Bend It Better tool will reveal that to you. you. Your ear might not be able to catch the pitch dropping because it's happening so fast because you're getting into the cut zone in the right place to activate the bend, but you're passing through it so quickly that the pitch is raising again so quickly that you don't even realize that you are bending. And all you need to do is really slow down that movement of of drawing that cuz zone back. And so the bend it better tool can be helpful in showing you, okay, that actually is a bend. And then you can just work on really slowly moving your muscles as slowly as possible and, and bringing that tongue back, that cuz zone back. One more tip I wanna give you is really visualize the pitch dropping. And that, that might sound kind of funny or fruity or something, but we're literally tuning our mouth to the note that we're trying to get the pitch to drop to. And so visualizing the pitch dropping is gonna be an important tip. You have to, you have to believe it. <laughs> Again, relax, <sighs> take a deep breath, play with this. This is gonna take time. And then I encourage you, go back to the beginning of this section here and keep just playing with me and trying these different techniques over and over and over again. And eventually you will get it if you don't give up. Don't lose heart. Now, if you have gotten your first bend, let's go ahead and put it into some songs. We're gonna work on some of the ideas played by Todd Johnston of the Doobie Brothers in the song, Long Train Running. The harmonica solo comes in at about a minute and 30 seconds. And this is what he does to start it. Does that sound familiar? That's exactly what we've been doing. We've been drawing on the four, bending it down, and then releasing it, right? Okay, and so he's coming in on beat four, and then he's lowering the pitch, and then he's releasing it. And then he's just doing three little wah, wah -oos, or Okay, so where it's bent down and then released, like this. And then later on, he gets into some really cool syncopated rhythms and they're very challenging. It would be really hard as a beginner for us to play this right away, but we can slow it way down and then speed it up with time. And so that's what we're gonna do here together, starting in the bent position, which is something we haven't done yet. We need to talk about learning how to do that. And so what we're gonna do is just like we've been doing, we're gonna start in the release position. We're gonna bend the note down. Then we're gonna cut off our airflow, paying very close attention to trying to keep everything in our mouth exactly the same with our airflow stopped and then start it again.
Okay, so I bent it down. I stopped my airflow, keeping everything the same, started the airflow, stopped it, started the airflow, stopped it, keeping everything the same in my mouth, and then I released it again afterwards. We wanna learn to be able to start a note from the bent position, and then we're gonna say ta again. Ta, 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 ta. And basically just want to play that over and over and over again, getting faster and faster. Now, obviously, I'm going super fast because I've been playing for a really long time. So just take your time. The speed will come with time. Don't worry about the speed. Just focus on playing it slow and cleanly over and 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 over. And then eventually the speed is going to come with time, okay? One, two, one, two, three. All right, now let's try our other lick, nice and slow. Faster. Faster. Okay, and then very at the very end there, I just started release, bend it down, and then slid to the left to the two drop which he does do that in the solo too. It's a little lick I like to call the answer. All right, great job. Let's try Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. And we're gonna play this in third position in the key of D minor. The song is originally in the key of G. If you wanted to play it the way that we're gonna learn it right now, you would need a low F harmonica to be able to play it. But of course the jam tracks that I give you in these lessons that we're playing along with in these lessons are always available if you go to the blog underneath the video, you can see the links to the jam tracks. In this song, we're gonna play the six draw bent down a half step, which we haven't done yet. We've been focusing on the four draw, right? Six draw is higher, so again, it's gonna be a smaller motion. It's gonna be more towards the front of the mouth. Let's find hole six. There's hole six. Sometimes it's helpful to even think about when you're bending higher holes like this, just lowering the front of your tongue. Now, same thing, we want to start it in the bent position. So we'll... And that's the note that we're going to need to be able to play to play Smoke on the Water, which is played like this. Four draw, five draw, six blow, four draw, Five drop, six drop, bent down a half step, six blow. Four drop, five drop, six blow, five drop, four drop. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One more time. Well, let's go back to first position in the key of C and do one more song, which is in the tabs video I did in Harmonica Tabs 101, we showed you how to play the first four lines of Take Me Home country road. Okay, now let's add a bend to the end of the second phrase and to the end of the fourth phrase to inject some feel and some soulfulness into this song. So we're going to play the first line just like we did. Now the second line, we're going to bend up into it. That four drop. Right? That gives it a little bit more feel, a little more of a wailing cry to it. And, and we could amplify that even more with some hand wah. Then we have the third line. Now same thing here when we go five blow, six blow, and then on that sixth draw, we're gonna bend. 
right? We got a little soulfulness, a little feel there. One, two, three. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Hey, if you haven't gotten your first bend yet, do not despair, please stick with it. Keep trying, keep playing with it, stay relaxed. But if you have gotten it, congratulations. If you were able to play these songs, really congratulations. We explored a few different ideas, a cool cross harp thing with the Doobie Brothers song, the third position, deep purple riff and then we ended it with a nice first position more of a country approach but it's still helpful in that expressiveness right okay cool so there's a lot more we can get into bending in the future please like and subscribe leave a comment below the video let me know what questions or what you're wanting to see more of in the future thanks so much for watching and keep on rocking <laughs> that's not what we're gonna do we're not gonna go blow draw that <laughs> Uh, okay, get yourself together here. <laughs> All right. Inner peace.